Welcome back to Let's Play Traffic Jam with me, Squawk, and when we left off, well, we just about wrapped up this mission. We've only got two years left, and this is going to be a slightly longer episode today, or it could be a slightly shorter one. Well, depends how it goes. Because um, I think I'm, what I'm going to do today is we're just going to play through the last two years, because we're just basically on the tail end of the mission. We only have a little bit more to do in order to secure three stars. I mean, we, we basically have complete dominance over, the, over this, well... I guess we could say region, I mean I've got a, a very efficient city railroad running now, waiting times are extremely low, bus services are all pretty much pulling in good numbers, so what is left to do? Well, let's bring up our goals. So, company value, we have pushed past 6 million, so that is good, it's currently sitting at nearly 7 million, so that's even better. Coverage is at 77%. Uh, what we need to be 60 in it's just the last thing we need to do is increase our leisure traffic from 52% to 60% we have 8% to go now what measures have I taken in order to try and get this going well I have enacted free leisure maximum marketing so in theory I really should have everything wrapped up but I do not for some reason and I am considering putting an extra bus online for you know what I'm gonna so, really, what we need to do today is investigate what what more could I do in order to um, get more what I want. And I also have to be careful with my money now. I mean, I've just spent on a new MAM GLX4. But I do need to uh, just keep an eye on my, my income profit margin thing. But just because now that I have free leisure traffic, it has taken a whole lot of my income. Let's just quickly bring up the stats for last year. So last year... I mean, last year we pulled in a tiny profit of only 37,000. It might be something to do with, uh, with the fact that I spent over 2 million on um, servicing costs. And actually, um, 2 million on new vehicles. And now my servicing costs actually now extend into the millions. So, yeah, but, but basically we have a massive expenditures now. I mean, we've just only three months into this year. We're about to pull in our first million of income, but I'm starting to... There was a worry in the back of my head that it's going to get harder and harder to pull in a profit. I mean, our total profit has sunk again back into debt, so that's actually put our basically our whole company back in the red, technically. But I think we could probably escape back into the black very soon, but what I really, really, really need is... I mean, look there, we're up to 53% now. I just need to find some way of just increasing these numbers. The only thing is, I'm really not sure how I can. I mean, look... I have over a thousand people at the stadium, there's 967 left to capture. The only thing is, like I mentioned in the last episode, who? It's a bit hard just to go door knocking on everyone really. Uh, the indoor spring pool, we practically got that wrapped up. Um, the open air spring pool, we definitely have that one wrapped up. I mean, we control 600 out of 796, you know, we're fucking sorted there. And then there are stupid stray buildings like these market gardens, which I seem to have pretty big shares in, so they're not too bad. This, this cathedral I can control half of, but I'm trying to work out what the other half is that I don't control. And let's see. Factories are doing good, but they're work traffic, not leisure traffic. This historical building I've pretty much secured. St. Bernard's Church is doing okay, actually. Line 11 seems to be um, trying to hold its own, so I appreciate that. There is a uh, St. Nicholas... Oh, no, wait. Sorry, I was going to say, but it was St. Nicholas' Church, but we actually completely control St. Nicholas' Church. Everyone uses lines 6, 7, and 10 to get here, so they use lines 6 and 7. So that basically means that people who visit St. Nicholas's all come from here and here, which is curious, but... Okay. None of the local people... Well, this local person uses St. Nicholas's Church, but she uses lines 10, 7, 6, 10, 10, 7, 6, 10 to get to... <laughs> Wait. Are you, say are you saying to me, right? Whoever lives here, right, in this house, which is highlighted in the green, and to get to this um, church highlighted in the red, she not only walks past it, basically, to get to the uh, station, she takes a train all the way up to wherever she could interchange to line 7 so let's have a look oh, she, she takes it to about here then she interchanges onto line 7 so let's say that when she takes the number 7 up here then she'll get off about here to get on the line 6 for some reason and then she probably takes the line 6 up this road da -da 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 -da. she 
gets off here, walks to this station here, gets on another city railroad, goes across these bridges, past the factories, through this other village, down here, down here, down here, then she probably gets off here, then she just walks to the church, god, she, this, whoever this is, she just likes to go on a walking tour, or more like a training tour of this entire place, she must really be taking advantage of those free le that free leisure travel, like, really, really taking far too much advantage of it, to be honest, but, <laughs> what a bitch. Hey, how else do I get more leisure traffic in this pathetic cesspool of a town? I'd be happy with two stars in this mission, but I want to get three. I mean, look, we've dropped back down to 52. How do I go back up to 53? I mean, how do I increase that to 60? It's just a very... It's a very, very tricky uh, conundrum we sit upon. I mean, just look at that, by the way. It's fucking swamped, that stage. I mean, look. Jen just picked up fucking 100 people. Let's just see if that aff affected anything, actually. Let's see. No, it's still on 52. By the way, we've taken out 61% of traffic, by the way. We have now basically removed... We basically extinguished travel for... Well, car travel from this entire town. I mean, still barely any cars here, but I'm going to get more buses on Line 7, by the way, so... I know Line 7's waiting times are pretty abysmal, unfortunately. I mean, I'm running 11 buses now. Well, no, I'm running 12 buses on Line 7 now, and some of them have a waiting times are still shit. I'll get a food to tech for Line 2, because Line 2 is a leisure line, so you know what? Let's just increase its efficiency. And who else could use more buses? I think Line 5. Line 5 often needs a new bus. Uh, yeah, you know what? Line 5, we have a lot of people waiting there. I'll get a new future tech for line 5, so there we go. That's just for the office block really, but I think it also probably picks up heavy swimming pool traffic, so that, that's always a good thing to know. But I mean, how much of a school do we control? Because I mean, we're getting fucking loads of it, so let's just have a look. Only 97 people now use the car, we, we've taken 114 of these pupils as our own, so what's more, we... we we just fucking dominate really now in this in this place. I mean, we, we dominate, yet we don't. But I mean, we are picking up some really insane numbers now as well. I mean, look, 49% work traffic. Ne nearly half of our workers use my my transport. 46% shopping traffic. That is amazing. I never get high numbers for shopping traffic. Nearly half of our pupils, over half of our leisure traffic. I basically control over half of all transport in this entire area. So, wow, really is all I have to say, wow, I mean, this is, I mean, I, I thought last episode we had some pretty insane numbers, I mean, we had company value spiralling into the 20 millions, but here, we just have, I mean, company value is at 7 million, that's, that's, that's very good. But, I mean, just the amount of control I have over this place is absolutely astonishing. For a place that only has a population of less than 5,000 people, we have now clocked over 83,000 people. That is, if I do some maths quickly, that is over 10, 15, 16... That is nearly 17 times the population of this whole region. I've nearly... I have transported in the space of nine years 17 times the population of this. And that's not, I mean, yeah, you might not think it's a lot of people, but 17 times. That, you know, do your multiplications. That gives you nearly about 85,000. I mean, I'm on 83,000, but I'll be on 85,000 very soon. I mean, this is just how it's done. I mean, the numbers just speak for themselves now. The numbers are incredibly insanely high I just wish I knew how to somehow boost from just that one little nano inch more I mean let's just be I mean, it's dropped to 51% now it's just kind of bugging me this now I mean I just wish I had a way of knowing how to get more people and actually I was playing with one idea in my head now hear me out might not be the smartest idea, but considering that I'm basically at the end of a mission, what the hell, may as well try it. Or at least, what the hell, need to get more buses on fucking line 5. So, you know what, line 5, you get two more food attacks just to try and cope with demand. Um, I was thinking, so just let me bring up the, uh, oh look, we can build suspension railway stations now as well, that's cool. Oh, magnetic train stations. 
That will be cool. But magnetic train, magnetic train stations must be like the ultimate future. I mean, that, that looks pretty cool. What I'm sort of like holding now, but oh well, we're still. We have our city railroads now, but what I was thinking was maybe having a line that runs basically opposite to the um, line 10. It could work, actually. I, I think if we also have a line that basically goes backwards, it could cut down tra travelling times for other people who want to travel from other places. So, so, say you wanted to go from the factory to your lovely home here. You could get on the train, but it'd take you fucking ages, wouldn't it? Because you'd have to go all the way around all this rigmarole. But, if I had a line that ran the opposite direction, you could just get on at the factory, da 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 you're here. So, yeah. Given given the situation of the mission, I think I, I feel like it is a worthy experiment. The only thing is, I'm not pulling in a lot of money anymore. I'm, but I have really shot my income in the foot. I mean, we're making a loss now this year, unfortunately. Just, just because, I mean, enacting free leisure transport has basically taken about half of my income. So... That really shows how big the leisure numbers were in this mission. I mean, 2.6 million this year. What we made 4.6 million last year. We, we, we got a big. We got a two million pound haul. I mean, yes, I have spent big on vehicles again. I've spent about half a million on new vehicles. Servicing costs will always remain high in Fudge, even though I am switching to MD food attacks now, which have lower running costs. But salaries will always go up, you know, because for every new bus, that's a new driver, I have to pay him, I have to train him. Advertising costs, well, they're, they're going to sit pretty at three sixty thousand a year, but still, that is loads. I mean, we, we're basically not really, I mean, yeah. We're only turning over small profits every year now, and our overall profit is still actually an overall loss, so really... We're in a bit, we're, we do have a bit of a financial situation here. I mean, say if we had a board of investors, I don't think they'd be thrilled with me, but when again, I just tell them to go eat an egg or something. But I just, I'm, I'm sorry, but I am out of ideas, unfortunately. I just cannot think of how I could get more numbers. I mean, the game, really, that is just the big complaint I have about the game. The analytics are actually not detailed enough. I mean, I can't just go, uh, I mean, look, wait, waiting times are unacceptable, uh, that, of course that is no, but the waiting times are all here, all, or near you are all peachy clean, so that, that's, a, that's a bit dumb, let's see, Ledger uses me, Ledger uses me, Ledger uses me, um, what the fuck, oh no, I accidentally clicked on a bus stop, that's why all the houses suddenly started to grow irradiated green, um, I mean, look at that, um, Leisure uses me, Leisure uses me, Leisure uses me. People still complain about the ticket prices, but to be honest, in my financial situation, I can't afford to put tickets down again. I mean, I'm not having, I'm not seeing people saying they're not taking Leisure because of ticket prices, because obviously, there are no ticket prices for Leisure. Apart from this, what, you say my tickets are too expensive for Leisure, I, you, the tickets are free for Leisure Travel, mate. And yet you still ride the bus for work, shopping, school, so, yeah, whoever lives here is a bit thick. And is that an eagle if drawn on there? I can't tell if it's an American eagle or a Nazi eagle, so I'm watching that house. Have possible uh, Nazis living here, but, Jesus, shit, look at all the buses I have. Uh, work, my company's still fat. My popularity is, is at its peak at you, you son of a bitch. I mean, look at that, 80, 85 image, 85 image. That is, that is, that is like an A grade popularity. Oh, look, another market garden. How do, how are we doing with this market garden? No one. Who the fuck uses this market garden then? Oh well. Leisure, I control, leisure, I control, leisure, I control, leisure, I control, leisure. Ledger, the, the ride by bus ETC will take too long. Well, where do you go? F you go to the church for your leisure. Church is really down your street. And I'm pretty sure you could take the number one to get there. I mean, look. Get on the number one. Whee! Done. I really don't feel like um, doing anything for that church. But I could. I don't know. If I put an extra bus stop here, what would be it for the effect be? Lines one, two, four, five. One, two, four, five would stop there. All right, you know what? I'll give that one a go then. Never know. I might get something from it. Doubt I'll get much, but I might get something. I might even get some traffic from St. Bernard. Hey, actually, I did work. I got 20 people from St. Bernard. That didn't change a thing. No. Oh no! Ooh, hello. 
54%. Ah, right. So we've, we've taken, at least this year, we've seen an overall rise of 2% ledger traffic. However, next year, I need to get an overall rise of 6%. So, yeah. I have a tough, I have a tough final task on my hands, and that will be for next episode. So we're just about to hit the end of year nine. So next year is the final year, and that is going to be where I have to fight as hard as I can for three stars, or settle for two stars. I mean, as much as two stars will keep me satisfied, you know, it's two stars, that's a good victory. I really do want to try and keep up my record of three stars. I mean, yes, I don't have a perfect record due to. Uh, the Peckham mission where I only came away in one star because uh, that was such a fucking obtuse mission. But I would like to see that I come away with something good. You know, because out of the nine missions I've done, I can say in eight of those missions I have achieved maximum victory. I've earned just in seven of those. So, yeah. But it's just a tragic thing going on here, I guess. I'm trying to keep on top of everything, but I can't, unfortunately. I mean, look, we dropped down to 53% again, so that's only a net change of 1% now. That is pretty tragic. I'll get another food attack for um, line line 9. And as much as I want to do that asymmetrical train idea I just had, I don't think, I just, I just don't have the money to do it. I mean, I... Buying all the stations would bankrupt me, basically, and then, you know, I won't be able, I won't, I won't be able to save up for a train within a year. I mean, yes, I do have good money coming in, but I don't have enough, I'm, and I'm not really going to suddenly start charging for leisure again. That would, that would probably sink me even worse than having free leisure. I mean, I may already have a big gap in my income, but probably putting the tickets back up probably would wouldn't even start to heal that gap. It'd probably make the gap worse. People It'd probably drop my image through the floor again, so... Yes, we do have a conundrum, and it's a conundrum I'm going to see. So next time on Traffic Giant, I need to raise 8% more leisure. Well, 7%, sorry, my maths is off. See you then, folks.